Okay, time for puppies. And I'm not gonna go in any specific order. Um, Brock is gonna be just bringing me puppies and it's up to him which one he picks up at the time. So we are gonna go through all 10 of them and we're just gonna go in the order that he gives them to me. So here we go. Okay, here is Strawberry and I'm a little girl. She is, she's got the abstract markings and they are wide awake. They're um, playing in there right now. They will be eating lunch in less than an hour. So they are gonna be a little more alert in this video, but she's got the abstract markings from her chin all the way down her neck, down to her belly. She's got some under her arms. She's got um, some white markings around her nose and a tiny little star on her head. She is, her coat is, their coats have gotten very long, but she's going to be a curlier coat. See all the S's on her head and her ears. The S's usually mean curly. Um, she might have, Maggie is curly and wavy. Maggie has spots on her body that are curly and spots on her body that are wavy. And she does look like she's gonna be kind of like her mama and have the curlier head and teddy bear face and wavier body because her body is not as curly. But she's red, she's the daddy look-alike. She looks just like Oliver. The one that I posted about before that's Oliver's twin. This is Strawberry. This is her. She's red and if she does what Oliver did, um, she could get darker as she ages because if you've seen that picture I posted of Oliver, of all the transition pictures of Oliver from baby to now, he did get a great deal darker. He was actually lighter than her when he was born and he's a dark, dark red now. So um, all the puppies from the litter have the potential of getting darker like daddy, especially the red ones. So this is Miss Strawberry. Now let's go get another one. Okay, I got through the whole video of showing all the puppies and started putting everything away and realized that I forgot to show something extra cute on Miss Strawberry. She does have socks on her back feet. She has a little bit on this one and it goes all the way through to the, to the bottom. And she has a big sock on this foot. So I couldn't let this video finish out and have oh, baby. I couldn't let this video finish out and not show that because it's super cute that she has little socks on her feet that match all of her abstract markings up here and under here. So I couldn't let that go by and not show. So I'm inserting this little clip now. Okay, here is Pear and I'm a little girl. She is, her and Peach look very similar. We, we call them the twins because they look so much alike. She definitely has that teddy bear face. She has basically all the colors on her. She is um, English cream like her mama and she does have like an ombre. She's got the darker um, apricot ears and on her face, she's got some apricot on her face, but she does have um, kind of a ombre effect. See, it goes from dark to lighter back to cream. She does have an ombre coloring to her. She's got the apricot, the light apricot, the dark apricot, and the cream like mama. So I'm very curious to see how she turns out color-wise when she gets older. She is so sweet, so sweet. But this is Pear. Her coat is going to be more of a wavy coat. She doesn't have all the S's on her head like Strawberry does. And she's got 
less S's on her ears. So she is gonna have more of a wavy coat. She's not gonna be the tight curly coat like um, like River Grace. If you have seen River, River has the tight curly coat and Maggie has wavy. So this is Miss Payer. She's so sweet. And let's go get another baby. Okay, here is Blackberry. And I'm a little boy. He's definitely going to have the curly coat. His ears are full of little S's. His head is full of little S's. His arms. He definitely is going to have that curly coat. And he, he does not, he's pretty solid. He's a little lighter up under his neck but he is not, uh, he does not have the abstract white markings like um, strawberry. So he is solid. He is a deeper red color. Some people might consider it dark apricot, but he is red like daddy. But he is absolutely gorgeous. So sweet. <laughs> Didn't you see yourself? So sweet. And just look at all this hair. Look at that. He's so cute and he's so sweet. He is our attention, attention hog. He's always ready and willing to get belly scratches and under my chin scratches and attention. He does love attention. Um, he's always the first one to come up and greet the humans when we walk past the little playpen if they're in there but this is mr blackberry okay here is peach and i'm a little girl and like i said before peach and pear we call them the twins um they do look very 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 similar they you almost cannot tell them apart if you do not live with them every single day you cannot tell them apart but she also has the ombre color on her coat i mean just sitting right here in this position you can see the apricot white and cream so she's got all the colors on her as well just like pear she is gonna have a wavier coat wavy to curly she does have some s's but they're not very prominent on her ears so she is gonna have a wavier coat but she's got you can see the the ombre of colors on her. She does have darker apricot spots on her as well. It kind of almost reminds me of Party. But she's equally as sweet as Pear. They're just so sweet. They're all so sweet. But they all have their own different little personalities. And we all show love different ways huh sweet girl but this is miss peach this is her okay here is blueberry and i am a little boy he is so stinking cute his face i mean could you look more like a teddy bear his, I love his little face, but he's, he's kind of in between, um, blackberry, peach, and pear. He's a little darker than peach and pear. He's got more of the darker, the light red, um, deep apricot colors. He's literally like teddy. I mean, he's just a teddy bear. He just looks like a teddy bear. And he's going to have a wavy coat as well. There's not many S's. He might be curly to wavy, but his body is definitely showing more of wavy. But color-wise, he doesn't have any white abstract markings on his chest. He's, he's not solid. He's definitely different colored. And his little ears, I think his ears is what makes his whole face because his ears are so dark. And then his face has like the 
darker here and then lighter up here. But he's just, I mean, does he not look like a straight teddy bear? Look at that. Sweet boy. And he's so sweet. I mean, they're all sweet, but they're all sweet in their own different little ways. And I love them all the same. I do not have favorites. I just love them for different reasons. All individual reasons or traits that they have. But this is Mr. Sweet Blueberry. Okay, here is Orange. And I'm a little boy. He also looks like a teddy bear. He's His face is a lot smaller. And these puppies just have... They have blocky little heads, and I just absolutely love that. But he's definitely going to have the curly coat. I mean, you can see it clear as day on his head and his ears. Yes. And even his arms. He's definitely going to have that curly coat. He, he almost looks... He's a deep apricot color. Um, apricot red. And he almost looks frosted. I don't know... Um, if you've ever seen people with like frosted tips on their hair or something, um, that's what he looks like. He almost looks frosted, but he's so sweet. He has the tiniest little mark on his chest right there, but other than that, he's a very pretty, um, deep apricot color and he's our current shy baby he he's very quiet um very calm he's he's like this all the time he's very quiet and very calm he does blow through the curriculum that i put in front of him every day but he's he kind of takes life in a his own little pace, just kind of slow and steady wins the race. That's Mr. Orange. So he's definitely, and now they change every week, so don't don't mark that down or anything. But currently, he is definitely our um, quiet, shy baby that just kind of slow and steady wins the race, takes on life. So this is Mr. Orange. Okay. Here is Cherry, and I am a little girl. She is going to be a wavy coat, straight to wavy. She hardly has any little S's on her whatsoever. So she is definitely going to have the wavy coat. She also, they all look like little teddy bears, but she also looks like a little teddy bear. Look at that face. She's so sweet. She's a dark color. Pretty, pretty, pretty color. She's definitely um, daddy's color and red scale. This is Miss Cherry. She is solid. She doesn't have any white markings on her. She doesn't have any abstract markings, so she is solid. But she is absolutely gorgeous and i love 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 her coat and her color her coat the way her coat is and how i know it will turn out is just phenomenal she's gonna be a showstopper for sure beautiful girl so this is miss cherry um she is our current um wild one of the bunch She's the first one to wake everybody up when she wants to play. And she's got personality for days. She's she's always willing to play and wake up her brothers and sisters. But her personality definitely shines. But she's still so sweet. They love her just as much as everyone else, huh? Yeah, we love you. But this is Miss Cherry. Here is Plum, and I am a little girl. She's got the prettiest color. She also looks frosted. 
she does not have any um, abstract, white abstract markings. She's pretty solid color, minus the frosted look. She's she's similar to um, orange in color, just a little lighter. She's gonna have the wavy coat because she doesn't have the prominent S's on her head and her ears, so she's definitely gonna be wavier coat. And their hair is just growing like I've sprinkled miracle, miracle grow on them. It's getting so long. Like when I have their collars on them, you can't even barely see their collar because their hair has gotten so long. But this is Miss Plum. She is a human lover all the way currently. She loves humans, loves getting attention and love, and she just kind of melts into your arms. She is so, so twit. You see yourself? You see your pretty little cell? Yeah. So sweet. And she's, she's like this all the time. I mean, she plays with the best of them, but when it comes to human attention, this is how she is. <laughs> But she's so, so, so sweet and loves, loves, loves human attention. So this is Miss Plum. Okay, here is Apple and I am a little boy. He is the one that I posted about the other day in the... Uh, I posted like a collage of pictures of him from birth to now. He gets darker by the day. When he was born, he had this white abstract marking on his head and nose right there, but he was cream like Maggie, and he continues to get darker every single day. And like I said in that post, I have seen puppies go from cream to red. Um, genetics is just an incredible thing. It's You literally, it, you're never sure with genetics it just kind of blows you away all the time and he is blowing me away he's absolutely i mean he's got a full like tuxedo look on him of the white markings from his head all the way down he's got one right there but he gets darker every single day and his roots of his hair are red so i am I 1 million percent want to know how this boy is going to turn out uh, when he gets older and his puppy, his puppy hair is trimmed off about six months old. I want to, I want to see it now. I really want to see it now because his roots of his hair are red. The further his hair grows out, the redder they get. And I mean, he's got that frosted look as well. So, he's, he's just, he's so pretty. He's so pretty. He stands out. Like, if they're all lined up, he stands out because of these markings and the way he gets darker every single week. When I take their pictures every week, I'm always amazed to see when I look back on the week before to now. I'm always amazed to see how he's changed because he changes what seems like the most out of all of them in color. He's just absolutely gorgeous to me he's so cute so cute and he's so sweet too um he's just uh i cannot wait but coat wise he's going to have a wavy coat he's not gonna have the tight perm he's gonna have a wavy coat but i'm gonna be another showstopper huh sweet boy He's so pretty. And I mean, I'm just curious to see how he changes uh, over the next couple weeks because their coats really start coming in once they hit the six, seven week mark. Their coats really start to come in. But I want to see how you turn out right now, like as an adult. So sweet. So this is Mr. Apple. Okay, last but not least, we have Banana. And I am a little boy. 
He does have a little white mark right there, kind of around his nose. And what's, and it right here on his head as well, a little star on his head. Uh, what's kind of amazing about Mr. Banana is he looks just like Mama in color. He is cream, but he also does have, in his roots, he does have a little bit of the apricot color, but his legs are stark white. He has like the cream stops here and his legs are stark, stark white. Um, it depends on the lighting. The lighting is cloudy today and I think it's about to storm, so the lighting might not be perfect, but he's got the apricot ears and a little on the side of his face that he's going to have a curly coat. He's got quite a bit of S's on him, so he is going to be curlier. And he is our biggest um, in roundness <laughs> of the litter um, currently. Um, he does weigh the most. I mean, as far as weights, most of them are um, still in that four pound range, but this one is in the five pounds, uh, which is still way, 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 way smaller than our, like I said before, these babies are not standards. They are medium sized. Daddy's a mini and mama is a big medium, small standard, depends on who you talk to. Um, but these babies are going to top out between 30 and 40 pounds. And he's just, he's our roundest one of the bunch right now, but he is my teenager's absolute favorite puppy there is something about him and these maggie look-alikes i mean i have to say i'm partial to the english creams as well <laughs> because i mean i have two of my own personal ones river or not river um harlow and maggie are english cream but he from every litter that litter cider was his favorite she was english cream that litter, his favorite was Dublin and Harlow. We ended up keeping Harlow, but Banana is my teenager. I got a phone call and it cut me off, but Banana is my teenager's absolute favorite, favorite puppy. Um, most of the time, if I am doing something or starting puppy laundry or cleaning out a puppy pen or something, when I come back in the room, most of the time, Banana is being carried around by my teenager. He is very, very human affectionate and very, very loved. They all are, they're all so loved. Um, they get, they're already accustomed to the couch, <laughs> my couch. They all get couch time, cuddle time. Uh, but Mr. Banana has definitely made a huge impression on my teenager. So, here is Mr. Banana. Okay, we have went through my Q&A portion of the video and we have went through showing all the puppies individually and about their coats and their gender and their markings, if they have any, their colors and a little bit about their current personalities, which that, is, that does change week to week. Um, but I hope y'all enjoyed and I hope you made it to the very end of this video. And like I said at the beginning of the video, if you have any, um, questions that you would like for me to answer in my next Q and A video, I'll be happy to put another Q and A video together and just either message me your questions or put them in the comments down below. And we will see you in our next video. And maybe, maybe you'll see my face again. I don't know. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Okay, like I said at the end of part one, um, this was part two. I showed you all 10 puppies individually and talked about their coats and their markings, if they had any, their gender, their names, their coloring, and all that with each individual puppy. But sorry if there's any confusion. I did, if you are coming and just seeing this video first. This is part two. Part one was a Q&A of all of y'all's most recent questions. I did go through uh, quite a few questions and I answered them in part one video. If you don't see that video, let me know and I will be happy to send it to you. So this is part two and I hope you enjoyed it.